My first acknowledgement of hip hop, I met hip hop at 16, 17 years old. I met hip hop back when Cool Hurt was a DJ. I used to live over Cool Hurt in the Bronx on Cedric Avenue. I was a DJ back then. That's where I come from, from when it comes to hip hop, you know. I know it before Sugar Hill Gang came around. I know it before then. I know, you know, uh, Grandmaster Cass, you know, uh, Baron and Breakout. We used to DJ with them. I used to DJ around them. We used to play in the park over there. I used to DJ in the park over on Cedric Avenue, uh, where 1520 is not far from Cedar Park. We DJ in Cedar Park. You ever heard of Cedar Park? Yeah. So my first recollection of hip hop comes from way back when it first developed, before the first record came out. Rough Riders came out of that same building that Hurt came out of. My brothers was young, little kids. It might have started right there where Rough Riders, the name came from. When we put the first records out, we wasn't living there, but that's where we originally came from, that building right there. We did our first deal with um, Rough House Columbia. For DMX, it was a single deal. And we had got a budget of about seventy dollars to $80,000. And my father had a building in Yonkers. He was there working. And we, we asked him, can we build a studio in his building? And he let us build a studio with that money on the top floor in the, in the in recording studio. So, Yonkers is the foundation, but we're from a little bit everywhere. We're from Yonkers, we're from Mount Vernon, we're from, we from Harlem, from the Bronx, where we started. Um, we're from all over. We're from Connecticut, we're from Philly, from Baltimore, D.C. We're traveling kids, we're survivors. The story is this. One year in Mont Vernon, we grew up with Puffy and Heavy D, you know, in, in Mont Vernon. We was at the Shabazz Corner on 3rd and 3rd, me and my man Tip. And asked ask, ask Heavy D, he came out of his white Range Rover, and asked him a question and said, yo, listen, we're trying to get in the music industry. You know, we, how can we, you know, how can this happen? So he said, I'm not making no promise to you. I'm not guaranteeing you no deal or anything. But all you have to do is get an artist you believe in and make hits. And he inspired us, you know, from, you know, me and Tiny, we were standing there and he said, oh, I, have, I asked him, oh, you know any artists? He said, I know the perfect artist. And he pulled a CD out. At that time, uh, DMX was selling cassettes for $10 in Yonkers. And, and I played the CD with him, I mean, uh, the cassette. And then I went to go see him that night. That was the first time I met him on the hill, in Locust Hill, in Yonkers. And when I heard him on tape, I, I believed in his skills. He was, or he was a, a, a true artist, as he still is a true artist, because he write from his heart and his experience, and that he was gifted from God to be able to deliver the way he delivered. He went through a whole lot. He, was, he grew up in, you know, some of the worst places in the Yon in Yonkers. But he survived. But he never, he, no matter what his condition was, he always, he always write lyrics. So he was a true artist. With the money or without the money, he always made sure he, he, he write. And that's what I love about X.